Uh, joining us on the phone right now is Rob Macedo. He's one of our Skywarn coordinators. And Rob, you joined us live around noon today when the National Weather Service confirmed that radar showed a tornado in Yarmouth. Explain how you work with the National Weather Service and what your role is, how you help the National Weather Service. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the National Weather Service has a partnership with the a National Association of Amateur Radio called the American Radio Relay League. And uh, I'm an amateur radio operator with the Amateur Radio Emergency Service. And so a lot of our amateur radio operators, and there are many non-amateur radio Skywarn spotters uh, who take a, a spotter class that's offered in the spring through fall of each year, will come in and, and, and actually get trained on what to report into the weather service. And then that's where a lot of the initial damage reports and information comes from is from a lot of these folks. And what happens after that is the weather service takes that data and when we have a lot of damage like we've have here in the cape they will send a survey team down to determine the strength of the damage and the type of the damage uh, whether it's a tornado or a uh, or straight line winds or a combination of both and um, they also will work with public safety police fire department of public works etc to gather that much more information after we provide the uh, initial ground truth so there's a lot of different groups involved, and it's a, a great process to tell people what's really happening on the ground when we have a situation like we had uh, late this morning and early this afternoon. No doubt. And, Rob, what are they doing right now to prove that a tornado did indeed touch down? Sifting through those reports, as mentioned? Right. So they're on site of his, on, on the areas of damage that we uh, 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 communicated to them and uh, also when they got they actually went to the county EOC and got uh, information uh, from those folks and now they're looking through that damage looking at how the trees fell to the ground um, looking at other evidence to determine um, what happened is it all tornadic is it a combination of a tornado and straight line winds um, there was a lot of damage out there and um, the storm I think had uh, probably some sort of combination of, of, of both and what they will do is determine um, the actual length and width of any uh, tornado path and then any uh, width of, of straight line winds that, that, that occurred. Um, there's over 50,000 without power uh, on the Cape last I looked about half an hour ago so there's definitely quite a bit of damage there and um, we even have amateur radio operators still looking and trying to grab photos where they can thing out of the way of public safety and uh, we've posted a lot of that on our social media feed. Skywarn coordinator Rob Macedo, thanks so much for joining us and thanks also for all the great work that you do to keep all of us safe. We appreciate you. Thank you and thanks to all that have helped us uh, and myself through the storm. Stay safe out there.